Hi, this is Duke Callaway. I've got another series on the Mercedes-Benz W123 chassis with the diesel. And this also does include your uh, 126 on the uh, S-Class. So you have the 123 and the 126s from 1980 to 1985 and even newer if you have the S-Class or even some of the 190s. You still with me, Gustav? Okay, give your smile. Anyway, what I did was I have um, to 1981, and um, what I did was I changed the glow plugs in the car uh, after reading a couple of blogs on the internet through Peachtree and also um, the various ones off of um, Ben's World that were um, that were basically saying if your little light it's got a little squiggly line that's in your instrument cluster is not coming on for um, the relay that could either be the bulb, the relay itself, or your glow plugs if you had two or more that were bad. So what my son and I did was we went in and basically there's a panel that's up underneath the steering wheel on the driver's side where the steering column is. There's like five or six little um, nut bolts, if you will. We pull that out and you can reach basically up underneath from uh, under where the, the dash is, you can almost pull that instrument cluster by hand. And what we did was went in and changed the little bulb for that light and um, come to find out, you know, I ordered a few and everything came up small, a lot larger than what actually we needed because there's about three or four different bulbs that are uh, inside that instrument cluster. And what we had was like a real teeny little teeny one that's not it's actually probably smaller than the head of this glow plug and they use that on the seat belt, the glow plug uh, indicator relay and then also on the uh, gear shift lever on the two cars. I mean, it's a really tiny one. It's almost a dealership item. I still don't know the part number. The bottom line is I kept changing the bulb between the one I had and then we uh, went out to one of these dismantling yards and I found a whole bunch of different 126 chassis cars, and I say, and I found at least five loose dash, uh, dashes that had the instrument cluster just laying in the front seat. So I took the liberty of grabbing all the bulbs out, so that I have enough of the whole variation to basically last two or three lifetimes. Um, anyway, bottom line is, what I did was I called uh, this company, Auto House, AZ. I talked to Andre, and what we did, and what you also should do is get your call one of these parts houses and again whether it's them or you go to a car quest or your local parts house that carries the Bosch and give them the last five digits to your VIN code which is the vehicle identification number. You can find it on your insurance card, you can find it on the title of the car or even on the registration from whatever state that you live in and just pull those numbers up and, uh, and it can tell you specifically what you have. So in my particular case, and, any, and again, anything from 1980 to the early uh, 90s even, on any of the diesels, they use a, it's a part number 80006. And that's basically the part number through Vosh, okay? And then here's what the glow plug actually is going to look like. Is this. Now, there's some that you'll see if you go online that have like a little teeny hook. It's actually smaller and has a little hook. Those are all your earlier diesel Mercedes Benz from mostly the 70s. There might even be a few of the 60s that have that. But on anything 1980 and newer, and I'd say for the 123 chassis, 1980 to 1985 and then even some of your early um, S-Class uh, 126 cars, they're going to use this particular style. And what it's going to have is for the actual base of the glow plug, this is a 12 millimeter, and then where your wiring loom goes in and you have like a little eye hook that slides on, then the little nut's an 8 millimeter. And, you know, that's something that's probably, I'm hoping, helping. Now, when I went to uh, Auto House AZ, I paid 
$8.11 for this. And I've seen them anywhere from 8 to almost $20 a piece. But you will want to go with the Boss. This is what has been in this particular car for 33 years, going on 34, because mine's an 81. And this is the first time it's actually been changed, so that tells me something in itself. The other thing you can do if you want to get technical is get like a little multimeter. You can go to um, Sears, I mean, Snap On Tools if you want to go that route, Home Depot, Harbor Freight, Kmart, whatever. It's, uh, it has just a real basic multimeter. You don't need to go out and spend three or four hundred dollars on a flute meter unless you, you know, really are going to use it. And what you're going to want to do is set it at 200. And then basically, this is how I had to set the connections up on it. And it's going to read one. So what I did, just to give you an idea, if I get this same thing to hold up again, is I'm going to put the um, ground wire basically on the base, and then the hot wire where the wiring loom is going to go, if I get it to hold. And as you can see, right now it's not pulling anything out of this one. So this one's completely dead. On the new ones that I bought for the glow plugs, they were reading anywhere from a 1.6 to a 1.7. I had four that were a 1.7 and one that was a 1.6. Anyway, to make a long story short, there was a couple of blogs saying either your relay is bad, and they tell you it's like a uh, when you when you open up the, the relay itself, um, it's going to be located on um, the driver's side front portion of the wheel wheel where the front tire is, in between there and the headlights, and it's a rectangular box. It's black. You're going to pull the top off. And in there, you're going to see two screws. I think they're probably uh, 10 millimeter. They might be eight. But anyway, disconnect your battery, pull the two little screws up, and it's going to be a flat piece of metal. If there's any damage to that, the car will not start. The other is if you have two or more of these glow plugs that are out, and it's a cold day, your car will not start. So what ended up happening with us was a little squiggly line for the for the weight for the glow plugs to warm up. After changing the bulb, the car still started, but the, the light wasn't coming on like before. Well, to the, this morning, my wife gets in the car, and it wouldn't start because we've actually had a fairly cold day. So I changed the five and jumped back in the car, hit the ignition switch, and I the light bulb came back on. And then the car started almost immediately as soon as the uh, light went out. So these glow plugs were, in fact, the problem. So anyway, hopefully this helps. And again, if you want to use Auto House, they're a great source. I've dealt with Andre. He's helped me on a couple of other vehicles, including they, they even get into domestic cars. So anyway, hope this helps you. And thanks again. And uh, thanks for watching the video.